Hello everyone, Petra Chimenez here from volumeaction.com. Uh, I want to say hello to my subscribers and um, I will do the update on GBPSD, what we got last week uh, on this pair since I um, uh, said on my forum that um, I will post the chart, the reason for my entry and why I, uh, how I took the one, the, the, free, uh, the one, uh, one to three um, risk reward ratio and also what we may expect in the future on this pair. Um, uh, basically, what we got here is the classic accumulation here happening on the bottom. It's um, the let's say the intraday, let's say that core of very short term uh, um, accumulation phase happening here on the bottom um, around the area of 1.5 450, let's say area. We saw the selling climatic action, then an automatic rally. After that, we got um, testing. This is a secondary test. Um, then we created this creek here, or the diagonal resistance uh, price um, broke that, went all the way above this supply trend line, uh, trend line, and then back here this is the back up to the edge of creek, and uh, test the, uh, the middle of the trading range, test on the very high volume, and we got some kind of reversal up trust, um, and after that uh, we saw the good uh, demand came in here, so. I bought at this stage and um, I, I got around 120 pips here, risking about 40, 45 pips. So this was a good entry last last week. So again, the reasons for entry is broken uh, supply trend line. Um, I spotted the potential accumulation and this uh, setup uh, worked very good. And price went about 130 pips later on. Price and GBP USD created the distribution here, the smaller trading range. Price went lower and exploded actually here about 160 pips. Um, as you can see the volume start to increase a lot and this is a big sign of the weakness here. So in my opinion uh, buying um, on the short term perspective um, the GBPSD looks very risky. Right now, uh, right now uh, price testing the 61.8 Fibonacci expansion from this A, B and C point here and 61.8 is around 1.5472 or 70 area. We can see that we got some reaction from that point. Maybe also we'll go to do some retracement uh, potential. Maybe we want to, to test some Fibonacci retracement from this uh, uh, downward lag we created here and then later on that price um, I'm uh, expecting price to uh, continue with a lower um, uh, trend and then uh, potentially to test this Fibonacci expansion 100% at, uh, at the price of 1.5300 let's say 35 um, which is about 100. 50 pips away from current price, but again, selling at this stage is very risky. And my my advice is not to sell here on ne near the lows or on the lows. My advice is to wait for some uh, correction. Also, I must uh, say that um, um, if uh, we see next week the volume increasing a lot and we see the demand, strong demand, then um, selling will be uh, risky. The more bearing pressure will be risky. So we must wait and. Um, that is why I'm teaching on my mentorship program. Um, I'm teaching my students to observe the volume price section, um, you know, uh, dynamic in the training range when we got to use the trend lines and everything which is proven, you know, by veteran traders for many, many years um, in the past. So this uh, volume combination with price section, uh, also Fibonacci there and um, uh, trading ranges, uh, this all can uh, define one very good entry and uh, what is the less risky uh, entry, what is the high probability entry and what is not high probability entry. Uh, so for example, at this stage here we you can see that um, 61.8 held here for a while, price uh, retraced a bit. Um, we can continue lower but uh, to sell here is not a good idea. Uh, sell maybe after some retracement and in, ca in case that the rally will be um, on decreasing volume or the not so high volume and not, the price action will not, uh, you know, if the price action will be weak in the rally then uh, yeah selling uh, will be good option but again uh, still this is, uh, there is no any setup right now on the GBPSD I just want to do update of the last week entry here and what we may expect possibly on this pair. If we put for example Fibonacci retracement from uh, uh, most recent downward lag or downward wave let's say 
we can see that 38.2 is around 1.5, um, 545, then 1.5, 575, 50 Fibonacci retracement 50% and 61.8 at 1.5600. So price may even all retrace to this, to all this area, um, or 38.250 or 61 point before we continue to go lower. Or if there is no en enough power to to rally on this pair, price may go slowly. Uh, but steady to uh, to the Fibonacci expansion 100%. Um, again, from the volume, we saw the big, big interest here from large operators to sell this pair after they did. Uh, we got some accumulation here, price went higher, but then um, after the news for ESD, we got a, a large, large sign of weakness, uh, very, very high volume and strong price action. Uh, Again, uh, feel free to, if you like my analysis, feel free to comment, to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested to learn my method, to to how to use the volume price section, uh, also like of analysis, um, uh, pro to draw properly trend lines uh, using the trend channels, multi Fibonacci zones, um, supply demand zones, everything um, I'm teaching in my seven days course. Uh, all you need to be successful. And then once you got that knowledge, it's all about you to practice, 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 and uh, to spot opportunities with uh, your eyes, let's say, on that way. So if you like, you can check my website, www.volumeaction.com, and there you can find more about my mentorship program and how to start my mentorship program. That's all, guys, for this um, um, analysis. Um, I will post the updates next week if I see some... Uh, good potential opportunities and of course I will try to find time since I'm doing the full-time trading um, you know and also if you interesting about the managing account I can manage accounts of course if you have capital to invest we can also speak about that part since um, I'm doing that for many many years um, successfully uh, that's it uh, for now and uh, I hope you enjoyed the analysis and um, um, that's all guys. Uh, thank you and um, bye for now.